Hey everybody, Sniper the Lazy Man here. Welcome back to Let's Play Guard. Alright, so the last episode there. Uh what did we do again? Jeez, I'm <laughs> it's been like over like, like a, a week and a half, probably a little bit more since I've last since I've done the last episodes. Um oh that's right, right. We did uh chapter three's um weapons, which I think we only did like needed one or two. Um so that was a uh, kind of relatively short episode. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to continue on with the storyline and go on to chapter 4. So, uh, why don't we just start that right now, then? Alright, so where are we, uh, where are we off to? Please, not the desert. I hate you. Anyways. Alright, so let's go off to, uh, chapter 4 here. And see where we're, uh, where we're heading to. Chapter 4, Betrayal. Oh, that's right. I stopped it at some point. I forget now. Yeah, yeah. I do remember seeing this part. Um, okay, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. <sighs> I always, hate, start, I always hate, hate starting another episode like this. And I'm pretty sure we saw that already. Yeah, 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 we saw all this. Jeez, like, seriously? That's when I had to start it? Huh. That doesn't seem right, but... Well, that doesn't seem right at all, but whatever. Oh, you know what? It didn't save. That's why. Ah. Uh, I feel dumb now. Okay, so... <laughs> now let's actually head off. Uh, because... I stupidly enough didn't save right after this scene. Um, I just immediately quit the game, then you know, shut off the system. So but all right, so yes, yeah, so we stopped at this flying level, and uh, let's continue on to where we have to go. Which obviously we have to chase after Inuart, and uh, and because uh, he yeah he's, he took away Furry Eye with him after doing a very devious. Uh, Payback, I will say. Like, if you're going to get back to someone, not only beat the crap out of them, but then just but then make out with their sister. Like, that's just the ultimate payback by any means. So, I mean, kudos on him. That's, uh... I I just like that how how just devious and really how really how much of a dick they can make, they can make his evil side be. So, it, it, it's pretty funny, actually. All right, I think we're going. We're going off to like these uh, these winter woodlands or winterlands or something. Um, I guess really the easiest thing I could say say is that it's basically just an Arctic portion of the game. Um, and uh, no, I I really forget why why I chose this place. I don't mean there's there's you know what there's not even really a, a, a reason why. It's just hey, what's the first thing I can think of to go to? Uh, let's choose the coldest place in the in the world. All right, let's eliminate these guys quickly. I kind of want to. I, I was. I, I always now want to get get rid get rid of uh of uh, these flying missions as soon as possible. Right. It seems like the uh yeah level level two dragon that we got uh, not too long ago either is working out pretty nicely for us. All right, so we're next over here. Okay. One who and so, what uh, what something you guys have probably have uh, noticed? Um, the last couple episodes were not uh, Drakengard episodes, mainly because, well, I'm recording this the day after. No, I, I'm not. I'm recording this um, right after I upload part uh, six. No, part. Um, Part 15. Um, so you guys, will be, so you guys have obvi will obviously be seeing 16, uh, obviously before this. But uh, dragons, just stop, just, just please stop, just don't do anything. There we go. But yeah, and then so uh, what you guys have probably seen in uh, recently was um, uh, Alpha Protocol, which again, I uh, I really do apologize that I never I. Not only kind of forgot about the game, 
a little bit, but that it took me a, it took me that long to get my PS3's disc reader fixed. And then also it took me that long to realize how to get HD on my HD PVR2. Now, again, I'm using it to record this game as well, but it doesn't want to actually do HD. Obviously, because it's the PS2 game, you can't really expect that. So I, I can I can I can basically expect the black bars on the left and right side of the screen. I can expect that for PS2 and you know and stuff like that. But I guess I heard that I would probably need to go into a uh, a um, another uh, software like a Sony Vegas or something and like take the video and pinch and zoom it. And, like, well, not pinch and zoom, but you know zoom on it, stretch it out. Do different things to it. Okay, an enemy column was made for the battlefield. Do not let them through, or the Union army will be overwhelmed. All right. Uh, there we go. I, I and it still baffles me that R three is is the map, and that's that's technically pause. All right. So as for my weapons, um, okay. So Glory's Bane is probably could be the next one. I'll probably level up, and then uh, Tyrant's Hammer. So uh, let's go right off ahead and do that. Uh, select. Damn, select. Alright. Um, yeah, so what's. Yeah, yeah, so like, uh. So what you guys saw was Alpha Protocol the last. Oh, damn, goblins. What you guys saw was Alpha Protocol the last couple of, uh. Of. The last couple of videos were Alpha Protocol. And, um, if you're new, if you're new to my channel and, and just recently saw those videos, um. You know, go back and, and, uh, and, and view the rest of the story. And uh, if you've been sticking through it all the way through, or majority of it, um, then obviously again, thank you guys for uh, for sticking with that long, long game. Um, it actually probably could, could have gone on longer if I didn't make like some episodes between like 20 and 30 minutes long. Now I I'm probably gonna do something around that same line for episode for the final episode, only because I mean, come on, it's the final episode. I'm not I'm not gonna try to. You know, skip down and make it, you know, really short. But as of this as of this time, I still have not yet. I still do not know how I'm going to edit that down. Um, all right, four more kills. The Empire is gathering but again, yeah, like it was a uh, that game was a lot of fun, and I know I really shouldn't be talking about a different game while I'm playing this. Um, okay, switch to Tyrant's Hammer. And I, I, I would really like to uh, I would would really like to try to get all these weapons to their final level. Uh, okay. Because I mean, besides besides it just being you know uh, for for just for 100% completion, like obviously besides just getting besides just obtaining the weapon, it's also um, leveling it up. Actually, is there? Because I did say I was going to be, I was going to be doing all the, uh, all the um, uh, weapons from this point forward. I was going to be doing all the weapons, and actually, I, I, actually, there is. Funny enough, I, <laughs> funny enough, there is, uh, there is a weapon in this level. Um. Okay. Uh, let me try to find. All right, all right. So this, this probably should be fine. Uh, all it really says right here is I need to kill the enemies in small, narrow inlets along the hill. Now, by that, I think it means all of those, all those guys in that, you know, smiley face kind of shape. I'm pretty sure it means that. But it could be something else. So, for the time being, I'm just gonna kill every single enemy I see, basically. But, uh, but yeah. And again, I know I know it's not really that great that great of a thing to talk about. Talk about a completely different game while playing something like this. Um, I should probably just yeah I shouldn't even bother with the paid guys. They probably give out uh, I should probably see you know they probably give out decent experience, but you know like one paid guy among like other than like you know seven or eight goblins probably isn't really worth it. I should probably check it out right now, actually. Ah, uh, get over here. Get over here. That's right, chase it, chase it. There we go. All right, pig man, let's see what you got. What's your experience, 60? Yeah, see, that's not even worth it by any means. 
Goblins are pouring from the West Valley. Jeez, there's like there's so much stuff going on right now. Uh good. Okay. Do you think oh you think probably going on the Dryden would probably be better? Because I think going on the Dryden will probably be, be a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna do that anyways. Because I'm this isn't really one that you can exactly fail, per se. And I should turn around because I missed the pig. There we go. But yeah, so uh, so, th so this so this will now be the game that I, I once again will be focusing mainly on um, until I beat it. And uh, if anybody has uh, and, and, and if anybody has seen Spyro uh, recently, um, tell him to stay out of my videos. He, he keeps he, he keeps just he keeps just interrupting my videos lately. Okay, so that wasn't it. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. I know what they mean. They mean these enemies here. Yeah, this little uh. Yeah, they mean these enemies. Kill all these guys, and then there we go. Treasure box will appear, and there it is. So that's what they mean. Yep, so there's, uh, there's, there's, I mean, that's weapon right there. Cool. And the next one, the next one's actually not, uh, not too far, uh, away. Um, if I can mount the Dryden here, that'd be great. Where we gotta go? Uh, yeah, let's just head over, let's head over this, this way. Oh, this side's gonna have just old pig men as targets. Okay, drive them back. No problem. Oh, great. There's red armored enemies, too. God, I hate those. Of the most annoying enemies in this game, besides just some regular enemies, the red armored ones are possibly the worst. They're, they're just the worst enemies ever. And, I mean, they, they, they restrict you to for, from doing... What you normally would do with just using, you know, using magic every now and again. But there is a positive to them. At least they don't restrict you as much as the Xbox One. Hey oh! But don't even be started on the Xbox One. I'm, 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 I'm at the same time I'm laughing my ass off, but at the same time I feel sorry for anybody who supported them in the beginning because. In kind of a way, I was like, "Well, what are you? What, what do you expect? They were bound to screw up at some point." I think really every company screws up a little bit at some point. No, no company is going to be absolutely crystal clear and perfect. I mean, Nintendo could probably be debatably one. What the heck are these guys? Oh, it's just the pig guys with a cannon on it. Okay, that's that's kind of funny. But yeah, I mean, it's you know. Nintendo, I guess, can be debatable because they, majority of people have gr have grown up with them. They can be declared, you know, the game company that ha can do no wrong and has that can do no wrong. Like they can make, they can say whatever they want to say, they can do whatever they want to do, and everybody will still love them. Why? Because it's goddamn Nintendo. Okay, you grew up on you. Everybody grew up on those games from you know. From, from Mario to Zelda and everywhere in between, you know, everybody grew up on their games. And, and, and I really wouldn't uh, say that I can't really hate Nintendo really for anything. Um, especially since technically, this is technical, that technically Nintendo made, in a way, Nintendo made the PlayStation. And that's only because that uh, Nintendo was asking for a were they asking for it or something like that. Like they they were asking for the uh, a, a CD-ROM um, uh, add-on to the Super Nintendo, just like the site a CD. But probably would have been it could have been cool, but at the same time it probably could have been a huge disaster, just like the site a CD. Um, but at the same time, it could have been it could have been actually something cool and interesting. Um, and then, but then uh, I, I think it was I think Sony did Sony uh, say no or Nintendo said said no that would be a bad idea. 
Either way, to whatever the actual, whatever actually happened, Nintendo basically said, no, no, never mind, we're not going to do that, and technically made the PlayStation, which then became my favorite, my favorite company and console. Um, so, you know. But with Microsoft, oh boy. Anybody, just, there, there's, there's reasons why I never supported them. And normally, I would say, you know, oh, it's, oh, you know, um, fighting between, um, what, is it? <laughs> what am I trying to say now? Fighting between, uh, on, fight, uh, fight, fight between of, of whose console is better. Why can't I go through that? But yeah, fighting between consoles and companies saying who's better, you know, that's fine. As long as you pick the right answer. But, and... I like where some people can ha have so much heart and dedication to one company where they where they will say they will have uh, no judgment I put against them. Like you can say anything and be like, oh Microsoft has, has no exclusives. And then you can have that Microsoft fanboy who's who, who, who will either agree with you but then say, well at the same time they do have these other games and whatnot. Or you can have the complete idiot fanboy who just takes who who just will not accept the truth also as rejection it's just being like yeah your your console's your console's bad there's much better ones out there for a reason now i'm not saying that personally but i'm just saying what i guess a lot of people would kind of would kind of admit as being nintendo or sony fanboys to xbox fanboys it's probably what a lot of people would say Alright, the commanders of the subhuman troops are fleeing towards a frozen plane. Stop them before they reach it. Alright, no problem. But, yeah, you know, I, I, I really should start doing just... Uh, maybe not all the time doing rant videos, but maybe I should start doing that. Because, I mean, me and Saito um, from, um, Made Man from my Made Man Network transmission... LB, you know, we could probably go on for a while and do like like rants or podcasts. Well, really, I guess it's more more or less podcasts than, than rants. But you know, we could, we could literally probably go on for a while talking about the recent stuff that's been happening in the video game world. Um, but if you guys would actually like to hear, I guess more valid opinions. No, I'm 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 not saying that we are absolutely you know 100 percent perfect in whatever we we say i'm not going to say that i'm just going to say that it, if you don't want to hear it from people like ign and you know people like that if you don't want to hear it from just i guess some of just bad critics i don't know i i i really don't know exactly what i'm trying to say but i mean if you guys if you guys want to want to hear something along that lines um feel free to leave a comment it probably will happen anyways uh, it's just a matter of if we get time to actually uh, uh, get together and hang out. Um, oh, nice! Has 60 attack now. Cool. All right, so uh, yeah, I'll probably have to end the video. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, so you obtained the weapon uh, Fang's Glaive, and the magic attack reads Venom. Glory's Bane. Okay, that's uh, cool. Oh, duh, yeah, I completely forgot. So there we go. Uh, level 4 for the Tyrant's Hammer. Pretty cool looking. It's much bigger and much stronger. And in that case, I can uh, now take away uh, my wall. Um, I can take away a weapon. Do that. Replace. And there we go. So, that was, uh, that was not too bad. But yeah, so I should probably... I should probably end the video here, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, next episode, um, I will, uh, we will start off uh, right over here. So uh, for Time and the Dragon, we sign off.